I'm with Roger Luther, the president of the Preservation Association of the Southern Tier. Roger, thanks for being on the show John, today. Thanks for having me. Now it's first Friday, we're in the Perry Building, and there is a display here. What's going on? This is a beautiful display. First Fall Past has uh, uh, something going on every first Friday. And this one's special because we have uh, 1876 engravings from a collection of Tom Kelleher. Uh, these are all original engravings. They're, they're matted and framed. And, and they, they can be show both, scenes. Right? Oh, yeah. And they show scenes of the Binghamton area, like the uh, inebriate asylum over here, the Alms House, uh, several uh, famous houses, mansions, St. Patrick's uh, St. Patrick's Church. Church. Yeah. yeah. And again, these are all original engravings from 1876. Now, uh, Tom Kelleher is here. I should ask him, where did he get this stuff? <laughs> well, I think you ought to do that. All right. I'm with Tom Kelleher from Tom's. We go to that store all the time, and you're on our show all the time, Tom. I am, John. Thanks for coming down to Pass tonight. Yeah, this is fantastic. Now, uh, I was just talking with Roger, and he tells me that this is from your collection of uh, etchings. Yeah, it's all, they're all engravings, actually. Engravings, all from I mean. uh, 1876. Yeah. It was the centennial of the country, and they wanted to show how far the country had come. So they took important landmarks and architectural elements of the county and did uh, engravings of them. They're exceedingly rare, but I've been collecting them since I've been a, a child. And so I have a number of them. This is a fundraiser for PAST. All of sales, the money will go to PAST. I support the organization strongly. They do a lot to preserve architecture and buildings in the area. This is the Alms House. This is on Upper Front Street, right out in front of uh, Broome Community College. That's right. And PAST uh, was very involved in trying to preserve that building. Really trying to preserve the building. The last remnants of it were the only thing that was left standing. You can see it was a beautiful property back in the day. It was only one of a part of it standing, and, uh, and it was just torn down within the last year or two. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that we weren't able to save that building. And the Inebriate Asylum. It's a beautiful engraving. I mean, not only is that a great structure, it has, a, it has an interesting history of being the first time that they treated alcoholism as a disease in this country. Uh, beautiful piece of architecture. The engraving of it is stunningly beautiful. Uh, a lot of folk art in, in the piece shows not just the building, but uh, the environment around the building as well. It's one of the one of people's favorite engravings. So we sold a couple of those already this evening. I say we sold a couple. Uh, these things are exceedingly rare, uh, but I have been collecting them my whole life. So I do, did have a couple of, uh, of the engravings that I was willing to donate to past. Well, this is a fantastic thing you're doing for the organization, and it's a terrific uh, collection that you've acquired through the years. And well, thanks, but they do a wonderful job in this community to preserve our history and our architecture, and uh, they're the ones that uh, deserve all the kudos for what they do. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, John.